Hi friends, it's me Trisha. Welcome to my kitchen. Today's recipe is refrigerator soup. You don't know what to do with your holiday leftovers? Let me show you. You're just going to need a few simple things if you are like me and you have a ton of vegetables in your refrigerator. Before they go bad, all you have to do is pull them out of the fridge and then prepare them and make a soup. Yeah. So yesterday, over the weekend, I was with my dogs and we went on an amazing road trip. And you know what happens when you're on a road trip. You eat all of the amazing foods that you can find from restaurants to convenience stores. Yes, I like my Slim Jim and my Arby's. I had a bunch of Arby's, but today I'm really feeling it. And so I need my health back. For Thanksgiving, I cooked a chicken and I cooked a turkey. So I'm gonna put all of those amazing ingredients in there. But I'm gonna start with my base. And in addition to my base, when I start cooking, I have all these amazing vegetables. So I'm gonna put them in a big pot and then I'm just gonna cook it all day. And then tonight, dinner's gonna be ready. And you're gonna ask, well, that's a big pot. What are you gonna do? You can't fit it in the refrigerator. You're gonna keep it going. You're gonna keep this pot on your stove. You're gonna add some more water to it if you have to. But that soup is gonna stay hot all week. Follow me. Here we go. So we're gonna start off with a great big pot. Make sure you wash it inside and out so it's a nice fresh pot. You're gonna need a pot full of water. This is about how much water you might need. You might need more. I'm not good with measurements. Do I look like Martha Stewart? Don't ask me. As for my dry ingredients, I have my lentils. I have my, well, not necessarily dry, but I have my can of black beans. One whole onion, if I don't have anything in my refrigerator that's open, so I might be putting this guy away. Brown rice. Now, in my refrigerator, I empty out everything and I've got some cooked Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna put those on the side because those are possibility just not to put it in there but we'll see at the end but i have let's see what have i not eaten and don't be afraid if you got things that look a little bit wilted a little bit soft because you can harden them up with water yeah it can you know it gets a little well anyway you know what i'm talking about it's a little floppy and then it straightens right up with a little bit of water okay so i got me some cranberries i got me some spinach i got an onion i've got a whole tomato i've got some i've got some celery i have some fennel i have more celery i have this beautiful beautiful bunch of collards which this soup is gonna be so amazing because when you incorporate the nutrition the phytonutrients things like that in your in your diet you're gonna feel so much better one thing about your beautiful collards make sure to wash them because that and kale according to nutrition online your collards are much more nutritious than kale and spinach combined i know we overlook the beautiful collards don't we because the taste but we can fix it with a different kind of taste so i have some collards i have some cabbage which looks amazing i, I, I choose the pink cabbage. purple cabbage not pink purple cabbage and i've got a red onion and i've got my amazing roasted rotisserie roasted turkey and my baked chicken. So there's that. I have some garlic. I have the rest of my onion. I have a piece of sweet potato. I have some, I have some broccoli, carrots, leftover cuttings from my Thanksgiving, and I have some broccolini and ginger. We're gonna put some garlic in there as well. And I also have another thing of garlic. So the garlic, the ginger, and then we're gonna add some apple cider vinegar. Can't forget your apple cider vinegar and your spices. So that's the ingredients that I'm going to use. So since I'm not allowed to have any music in the background, I found this little sound machine and I put it on so I can have a little bit of background noise instead of it being so quiet while I make my videos. So we have all of our ingredients here. Now step two, let's prep them. So we're going to put our chicken and our turkey on the side over here and we are going to prep our vegetables. So I have my leftover, okay, I always drop everything. I have my leftover cranberries and I'm gonna use the whole bottle. Cranberries are amazing. They are good for vitamin C. They're good for kidney health if you look them up. I'm gonna take my spinach. This is a great way to clean out your refrigerator and using these ingredients for your health because what I love to do, I love to juice vegetables and I save the pulp for other things. So I'm gonna put the tomato on the side because I'm gonna put that up next. So I'm gonna try to just pull apart these things. I love broccoli, I love the broccolini. Wow, my outdoor kitchen inside. So the funny thing was, on our road trip, we stayed overnight at a Cracker Barrel in the back of my Suburban and that was very interesting. Everything is different at night, especially if you're not in your own car and it got really cold and I did bring a lot of um, blankets and things like that. I think I'm gonna pass on the sweet potato because I just am. Uh, but it got really cold and it makes you think about people who do have to live out of their cars who don't have heat and it makes you very mindful of the things that you have and we're very grateful and thankful as in Thanksgiving, what have we been thankful for? So yes, I think I saw, I saw the music problem. So we're gonna cut up this broccolini. Thanks to Marvelware, which I'm not sponsored, is another great chef's knife in my list of, of tools. So we're gonna cut all these up into like little bite-sized pieces. So you're gonna eat off this for, well, I know I'm going to for a week, but if you have a bigger family and yeah. So a lot of people do not like vegetables. I was talking with a friend of mine and I showed her my soup and she said, ew, my family does not like vegetables. Well, I have to tell you, the more artificial stuff we put in our body, I feel it, I felt it. And I used to eat that all of the time, which, which is, I can't believe that. Um, I'm also gonna cut up the spinach a little bit so we have more bite-sized pieces. I've got some yummy carrots. Yeah, I get that little sound machine. I just put it on while I, I thought of it while I started in here. So I thought, wouldn't it be nice to have an outdoor home stuff, but you have to put a lot of work into it. And especially when it comes to the winter, how do you stay warm? And you have to have a good plan. You have to start at least, I would think, a year in advance. And if you live out of your vehicle, I think you would need to start like the time that you would need to start would be soon because that's a little scary. All right, so I'm gonna have a lot of celery in my soup. I'm gonna go through it. And if there's stuff that you don't like, don't put it in there. Like the sweet potatoes, they didn't look too good to me. So I'm like, you know, I'll, I'll put those in the compost bin. Don't be afraid to also, it's just, we're gonna do our best to save what we have left. And if we can do that, but if it looks like it needs to be composted, compost it. So I know I love my vegetables. Vegetables are so good for you. And another thing, they cook down as well into water. So you wanna make sure you have enough water. Oh no. 
enough of everything. The refrigerator soup is one of my favorites that my grandmother taught me. Did I say great grandmother? I meant grandmother. My grandmother taught me, and it's a great way to it's a great way to get all your vegetables. You can also blend this if you have a, a, a blender after you cook it, and you can make it, you know, like V8 juice. But here's all of my carrot, all of my carrots, the, the shavings from that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep them. They're so good for you. When you go to a party and look at that. When you go to a party and you bring like a little vegetable board, they don't understand, like a lot of people who don't like vegetables, they don't understand that a lot of the nutrients are in the shavings that you wanna eat your soup with all of the shavings on because it's like right, even with your potatoes, you wanna eat the skins. It's so good for you. All right, so I've got some onion. We're gonna use, we're gonna use this onion. We're gonna cut this one up. We're gonna make our stock. And our stock actually should have been those celery pieces. However, let's see. Actually, well, I can cut up more, but I forgot to cut this up. So we're just gonna cut it up. And when you have a good knife, it's easier to cut and just be careful because I've cut myself many times. So in my video today, my helper is Lulu. <laughs> Lulu is my helper and she'll pick up all the stuff off the board for me, which is great. I learned uh, some amazing things about animals that they really do, they really do protect you from things. So every time they, they hear something, I can't hear it. But then every time I look outside, there's like another animal outside. And that's another thing I would think about being scared in the woods. What about the animals? Don't they get in for your food? Like, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the rest of this garlic and I'm gonna pick up all these little garlic pieces. I'm scared to even take a bite of one. Oh, I thought I got, oh. Ooh, that's, oh my gosh, I have my such taste back. Oh, that burns. That was like the worst thing about having the vid was that when you lose your sense of taste. And now our stock, we're gonna have another, we're gonna have another garlic. But, oh my goodness gracious. Then you put the rest of the skins, the skins into the compost pile. So, next thing that I got is another piece of garlic. So I'm gonna, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna cut this up. I'm gonna pull out these pieces, like so. But also I use the back of your knife. I forgot all about those techniques. So you're gonna just, just like that. Cause this soup is gonna be so healthy for you. I like big chunks of cooked garlic, so. But to start my, I'm gonna use this to put it in. I'm gonna start my soup base with my garlic pieces. But I, I love it very much. So I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. And into that, you know, all of the food you like. I love macaroni and cheese. That's like one of my favorites. The mashed potatoes, the gravy, you name it. Oh, it's so good. But then after you just wanna sleep for like five days. <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna cut the we're gonna mince it with our pampered chef mincer in just a minute. So we're gonna get all these nice little pieces of this garlic in this soup. So we need garlic to make the base. We also need, I like having garlic in the soup because I just love eating. Maybe I oh don't know the cooked garlic just mm, does something to me. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm a vampire. They say I'm an emotional vampire. Is that like I don't know <laughs> vampires and garlic? So I just look through it all. And yeah, so thank you so much for tuning in and watching my channel, viewers like you. Keep me going, and it's the holidays, so I'm excited with Christmas. We're gonna make some Christmas cookies, and I think for Christmas, we're gonna have the Christmas ham. I like ham, had a little bit of that on Thanksgiving, which was really nice. And uh, yeah, put, put some in there, yeah. So, this soup is gonna be so amazing, but even with the, the skin of the garlic. So, you don't, of course, want too much, mm. just enough. So, I love keeping these bags for my produce because I always like to empty my produce back into it, all right? Just like that. And the next thing, I've got some ginger. I would say. Now, ginger is very potent and it has all of the nature's nature's pharmaceuticals in here and so that's gonna that's gonna add a lot of um, health to you so i'm gonna mince that up but ginger you can keep for a pretty long time in your fridge uh, again i do not i do not peel it a cool appliance that i got from the thrift shop is a steamer a vegetable steamer another thing you can do with your garlic mm, you can steam it and i'll show you a recipe for that later i'll put that there all right so the next thing i've got now, cabbage is one of my favorite things that I like to eat before bed. I know, you got the bubble gut from the cabbage, right? Is that the right word? You got the, oh, I'm gonna pass gas, but I'm telling you, the wonderful things that cabbage does for you, it's worth it. And so for me being single, I, I got dogs who pass gas all the time, it's normal. The first time you pass gas in front of your partner, that might be one of the scariest things, because then either you laugh about it or you tell each other, oh my gosh, you're terrible. But I, I don't mind it, I'll pass gas, because it's normal. I remember Carrie Bradshaw on Sex in the City when she, she passed gas in front of Big, and that was such a major, that was such a major thing. All right, so I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna cut up some cabbage. And be careful with your knife, knife safety is important, so I'm learning. Having nails and cooking is not easy. Like, when I have the, <laughs> maybe that's what it was for me. So I'm gonna put my cabbage on here. Wow, so in my kitchen, yeah, so I romanticized the idea of having a homestead. However, I don't believe I have what it takes to do that. Because on my road trip, I drove, so on my road trip, I decided I wanted to visit a place that I never visited before and I had a fear of it. So I went anyway and it was dark and I was like one of the only people on the road and it was very scary. But as Jordan Peterson says, you wanna live for danger. You don't want to be in your comfort zone all the time, and you just want to go out there and go for it. So I thought, no, I have some time. I have some OnlyFans money that I know I need to pay a bill, but I need to do something. My call to adventure. So I packed up the truck, and I took the dogs, and we had an amazing adventure. And as Jordan Peterson says, with courage and forthrightness to go on out there and face any obstacle and any challenge. So I thought, let's do it. All right, so I'm going to be juicing this week. So I'm going to be using half half of my collars here, but I'm going to cut them before I rinse them. Okay, look, these are beautiful collars. So we're going to put these back in the fridge with the cabbage because I'm still going to, well, sort of. Actually, no, I forgot because I'm making a big soup. I'm going to put the whole head of this whole beautiful head. And you can do all kinds of stuff. This is, I like this because it's much more rugged than, mm, than lettuce. Mm. If you're like me, well, you love the taste. 
Probably a good idea to rinse it. Probably, right? <laughs> but why not? Once I found a bug in my spinach, and I thought, wow, maybe it has more protein. <laughs> but of course, um, mm, definitely eat it raw. So this is, um, these are cabbage collards from North Carolina Fresh Pick Produce. Mm, so these taste like a little bit of cabbage, which I never really thought before. That's great. So go through it. Doesn't that look amazing? I just cut that up. I've seen some so big, what you want to do is fold it in half. Just like that. But I like some substance. I like some substance. So look at all this. We're going to put that in a quick big pot. So then the next thing we're going to do, and then we're just going to let it cook all day on medium heat. And then once it's all cooked, then we're going to leave it on um, simmer until it's gone. All right, the next thing I have here is this beautiful fennel, which I did not use on much. So we're going to cut this up. We're going to rinse it off. Okay. We can cut around. I, I will cut around the, the brown spots. I'm going to cut the tops off. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's like one big onion. So I'm going to go around it. So it just turns light brown from the air, and it's not like rotten because you don't see any like slimy pieces. It's just brown. And, like, we'll put that in the compost pile. But other than that, mm, it smells just like licorice. Take those pieces. Mm, so yummy. Got my little compost bag. I'm gonna just slice it down. Look at that. How pretty is that? Oh wow. Then it starts to grow. You see the little from the inside goes from the inside out, like an onion. Look at the different layers. Wow. Look at that. I can't really see it from here, but here you go. So as I cut this, and no, so I have not yet put up my Christmas tree. I'm not putting up my Christmas tree. For another week because i'm just not interested in i'm just not interested in the commercialism of christmas so i cut this anyway i want it and i'm just gonna stick it in the bowl so it's gonna go in there i don't think about vegetables it's not a big deal if you make a mess it's not a big deal if you cut them differently just cut them up just cut them up these i had already look at that you get two totally different like a celery you get two totally different shapes if you want. Mm. oh it smells so amazing so all of these flavors are gonna get mar married into each other mm. I love it. I like to buy all of these vegetables, but then I don't, either A, I don't get to them all the time, or if I go away for a day, and as you know, keeping produce is one of the hardest things. So I'm gonna use this nice celery that I have left over. This is gonna be the most amazing soup you have ever seen. And there's no wrong way to do it. I like a different variety of vegetables. All right, so as I look through this, this is something that I'm gonna put in the compost bin. It's not worth it to me to try to dig out. If I didn't have any celery, I would. All right, I love this. So it's fun. So my grandmother would take all this stuff, but she didn't eat as many vegetables as I ate. So she'd have like the turkey. She'd sometimes just throw in, well, it depends. Sometimes she put in mashed potatoes and all that in there and make a creamy soup. It's just refrigerator soup. What do you have in your refrigerator? Throw it all together and make a soup with your turkey leftovers. Anyway, these bags are so great. Just for composting. Yes, that's where I romanticized the idea of composting because I saw it on the homestead channel. I'm going to keep the rest of, well, I'm going to take two more of these organic celery pieces, which is really great. Because one, I'm going to start my stock with it. And then two, I'm gonna keep it. So since I have a red onion, I'm gonna keep that red onion because I'm probably gonna use it for something else. So I'm gonna pick up this big sweet onion as well. I'm gonna use a sweet onion with the celery and the garlic to start my base. I'm going to use Italian seasonings and I'm gonna use some vegetable vegetable or any type of oil. I'm gonna use olive oil, excuse me. So I'm gonna cut up. They tell you to rinse your vegetables, but I use the organic kind, not that's any different. But I'm gangster like that. Just kidding. <laughs> so yeah, the holiday season, I'm, I'm not the humbug about it. One thing, when people don't bother you, you don't have to buy them gifts. Remember when you're such a people pleaser, you buy people gifts who didn't talk to you for a long time. And then come Christmas, you wanted them to acknowledge you, so you buy them a gift and even maybe they talk to you. Buying someone a gift doesn't guarantee that they'll talk to you, and that's not even a way you get them to talk to you. Until you have nothing. Alright, so I'm gonna start my soup base here. I've got all of my beautiful vegetables that I'm gonna put. I'm not exactly sure if I want to put a tomato in there this year. I think I will, actually. But I'm going to slice it towards the end. That's the last thing. So I like to cut up. Now since that is actually a bigger soup pot, we're gonna make a bigger soup base. So as for measurements, oof, as for measurements, I'm gonna plate it like this. I'm gonna plate things. So I'll keep it shut. You have to sit there and pop the fingers off. Oh, yeah, baby. Just put it in there. <laughs> and depending on how long it's shot, if I use that forearm action, you gotta have that grip. <laughs> gotta have that. <laughs> you, gotta have, you gotta have that strength. I'm right handed, so my right arm is. Alright, so there you go. So we're gonna start that. Then the next one is gonna be the onion. Another plate like that. But all together, all of this is gonna be so amazing. So I'm gonna cut up my onion. Now, I do love my onion for, for the soup. However, when I do my stock, it's gonna be amazing. Ooh, yummy. Got my little compost bag, which is great, and um, I think that's it. I'm gonna cut it in half. All right. So for my soup base, got some good chunks of onion there. So we're gonna saute the vegetables, and add the spices, and make sure you have garlic salt, actually garlic powder, and salt. I like pink salt and I like sea salt. Ooh, here we go right here. No, I'm gonna get fired. Get all that. So then this is going to be our soup base, and I think I want to use the tomato to start the soup base. You say, well, how? Because the tomato is very watery and the consistency of it, but I like the taste, so I'm going to saute it, so I'm going to cut it in chunks. And also, depending on that, 
I do something neat with it. Make it a little exciting. So if you want to, you can add a pasta to it. I like my lentils. I put a couple lentils, a couple brown rice, and I'm gonna eat this all week long. I'm gonna put that there. So then, as for the onion, I like just putting a whole onion in there while it's soup. So I put it in with the, I'll show you. Put it in with that. So I'm gonna take, also I have my garlic. Get this nice and like that. That's how you dice tomatoes. But after I saute the, after I saute the vegetables, I'm gonna add that. And another thing I wanna show you about this, very easy clean up the pepper chef. Just opens up and easy to throw in the dishwasher. Just like that, I don't care. <laughs> so for our next step, now that we have all of our vegetables prepped, we're going to take our ingredients for our soup base. And the ingredients for the soup base that I'm going to use to show you is some celery, onion, tomato, and olive oil, and salt, garlic powder. Don't worry about making mess because the best part is cleaning up. So I'm gonna, I forgot all about this. I'm going to grab my chopper and I'm going to chop up all of my garlic because that's so important in your soup base. Be careful not to cut yourself. And to make sure I love the rest of garlic pieces, so I'll put that with the rest of it. All right. The next thing you're going to do, you're going to get your favorite olive oil. You're going to heat up your pot. So, the type of pot that I'm using is a great big soup pot. And I'm going to put it on high heat. And I'm going to just saturate the bottom. We're going to go through the whole bottom of it. Be generous. This is your, this is your base. I'll show you here. And in that base, you're going to add your vegetables. Just like that. Make sure you get all of it in there. All of it. And add your garlic. And you're going to add your tomatoes. Just like that. And on high heat. That's when it starts. So then you make sure you get the rest of your vegetables in there. And when I cook, I love to be comfortable when I cook. So one of my other favorite little, what do you call it? So my other favorite. So you're gonna start smelling it. And you're gonna start. Make sure you get all of your vegetables covered in the vegetable oil. So this is still heating up. So you can see, it's all in there. So now it's time to season it. So you go into your cabinet, you get your pink salt, you get your garlic powder, and your turmeric. I like my turmeric and everything. So I'm gonna put my garlic. Mm. I smell like base to a good spaghetti sauce. We add more tomato. I really love a little bit of tomato. So I have a good amount. Also, don't forget your Italian. Seasoning. If you don't have Italian seasoning on hand, which I don't know what I did with it, here it is. I like the Simply Organic brand. This has your thyme, your oregano, let's see, oregano, thyme, basil, rosemary, and sage. So that's a really good Italian seasoning. Put in there, a little salt. We're gonna put a lot more salt in here, but the pink salt is really good. Put three good tablespoons and four. Just lower the heat down. Mmm, all these smells are just so amazing. I'm gonna add some more olive oil just because I love it. Mmm. One of my favorites is the chili. It's really good. And then I'm gonna put some turmeric in here, just so enough to get it some. I like the organic turmeric. So if you have that, I'm going to add the little seeds. So, I'll show you. I'll my base. Turn it down a bit. Let that simmer so you get all the, the tasty. So then, then we'll let it cook down a bit. Mm. That's all your celery. That's all your garlic. That's all your onion. Put your crust in your celery. Put that down from it. Put your ingredients away. Mm. I wish you could smell this. Oh, so we're going to take it to the ground. We're not trying to burn anything here. We're not trying to burn any stuff. So I'll just add a cup of water. Mm. Oh yes, so that water's gonna slow down the cooking of those vegetables. Oh, this smell is so amazing. So today I decided I'm gonna use black beans. Black beans are a favorite of mine. So that's the next thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab my black beans because I'm gonna use that, that flavoring to flavor. However, I don't want to bear with me because I packed it and put my food to go. So I'm gonna use a different can of beans. I'm going to use the Publix reduced sodium black beans. And I'm gonna use one whole can. Some people say, oh, don't you drain your beans? No, it's only water. My beans are Reduced sodium is good for you because you don't want to add all of that salt. Mm. So I'm gonna mix that up just like that. Now in the end, as we know, the healthier it is, it doesn't have a particular color, it's the taste, it's the... Oh, yes, my friends, yes. Mm. Oh, my friends, mm. Mm. Uh, uh, mm. that tastes so good! Yeah, don't, I, I, for me, don't worry about that. So that's gonna come up to a little bit, mm. yeah, cool. Yeah, I think that's, that's gonna boil up a little bit, let it do that. Then the next thing, because we're gonna get our, our vegetables last, so the next thing, we're making is the broth. So that's all cooked down, we add the water, we add one whole pot of water. Ooh, it looks so good, let me mix that up and show you what my broth base looks like. And we'll probably add more water to it, but this is going to be the base of our soup. Scoop it all up, so amazing. Mmm, a little more salt. A little more salt. Look how golden and yummy that is. So the next thing we're going to add our meat to this, because the vegetables are going to go last. So the meat that I chose, I put a turkey and a chicken. So I'm going to take this big, beautiful turkey breast. I'm going to stick that right in there. Make sure the water covers everything, because it's going to go last. I've got the, the chicken skin. So chicken and turkey are going to go in there with the bones. Mmm, because when you eat this, you can even eat the bones, how tender and soft this becomes. So got, of course, I'll save the cookies for the donkey, so yeah, we will run outside of us. I'm so excited, so I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, this is so amazing. I cannot wait to eat this. Mm. Now, the turmeric and olive oil, you're going to get a little different color, but it's just going to be amazing when you taste it. So then the next part, I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit now, because we don't want to overcook our starting vegetables for our broth, so now that we're getting this broth going, oh, it just looks so good. I'm going to take our lentils, I'm going to do a cup of lentils and a cup of 
We do a couple blend downs, a couple brown rice. I, I like the different textures. I like the different tastes. A couple brown rice. Alex is my favorite place to get all of my other little oven. So there's my cup. Oh, you know what it looks like? There we go. That's the end of that one. So then, probably asking why I have lentils in a tin. My dog got them. He literally wants, or she literally wants it. I don't want. So we're gonna do one. We're gonna do one cup of lentils. I always make a mess with my lentils, so I like putting it in a meatloaf pan. Just putting lentils in there. There's that. So then, get this up to boiling a little bit now. Turn the heat on. Higher. Okay. And I put in the heavier vegetables first, which was my celery, onion, and carrots. Or celery. I'm gonna put the onion. This onion inside. For now, it might come out, but inside the turkey. It's gonna fall out. All right. Well, I tried. I'm going to put all this in here. Give it a stir. Oh, oh my goodness. I've got my fennel. I've got my onion. I've got everything in here. Now we're gonna put a nice oil on here. We're gonna give that another stir. And once it starts boiling, that's when I add more water in my vegetables. So you want to add more water to it, but you want to have a good base. So I'm gonna taste this base in just a few minutes once it starts heating up. Definitely more salt. So I'm gonna go in. Mm. And I'm gonna take my salt. I don't, want, I, I don't want too much. You don't want it to be too salty. That's not, I don't really measure it. I actually want some garlic powder too. That's just how I like to do it. I like it nice and tasty. I like it nice and tasty. Tasty is my thing. I mean, I wouldn't be 182 pounds if I was looking on it if I didn't like tasty things. Do you like tasty things? All right, so I'm mixing in. Mm. That turkey's gonna fall off the bone, the chicken that's in there. So my refrigerator is going great so far. Mm. That's just right. So I probably might have to add more because of my vegetables. So these are my beautiful vegetables I'm going to add here. First thing I'm going to do is a big handful of kale or collards. Mm. Oh wow. So I'm going to submerge those into the soup. I'm using one of my favorite multi-tools, which is really great. So there's that. Let's see here. So there's that. So I submerge all of the collards in here like that. Keep adding them like that. We're going to add more water to this, of course, but we want a good, good base because that's roaring boil. That's quite sleep hot. All these vegetables are gonna have a bone like that. Make sure you see it. You'll not leave it. Mm. Then I'm gonna submerge. Put all of the vegetables in here. I'm gonna add more water and mix it all up in oil. So this is gonna be the best refrigerator soup you've ever tasted. This is going to be the best refrigerator soup you have ever tasted. You mix that all up, and it's all gonna cook down. Let that come to a boil. Put it on it. Down. This is what's going to simmer all day. All these vegetables are going to simmer down. We're going to have nice soup. So now I'm going to let this simmer down for the rest of the day, and we are going to have some amazing soup tonight. Can't wait to show you. So during the filming of this video, I forgot to mention two really important things. One, use your organic apple cider vinegar and almost forgot to mention your turkey fat. So one of the things that I like to do when I rotisserie my turkey or chicken or things like that, I keep the fat and the fat is gonna go in the soup as well. So this whole refrigerator soup is gonna have all of the key essential ingredients that are not only nutritious, but are a good collection of all of your holiday festivity, foods for me anyway. So I'm going to put that in there and uh, I think that was pretty much it. So we're going to put that, we're going to stir it, add our apple cider vinegar, we're going to add our turkey fat, mm. then we're going to stir it all again, we're going to stir it all again. And this is gonna cook all day. How amazing is this? Just you wait and see. Hi friends, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe and hit the little bell so when I make more 
cooking content videos, you can be notified. As for today, thank you so much for watching me while I made my favorite refrigerator soup. And you can do a lot with your leftovers this holiday season. Don't be afraid of vegetables because vegetables are good for you. You are what you eat and you can reverse different things by eating healthier. We are what we eat. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for watching and I'll see y'all real soon with another video. Oh my gosh, that tastes so good. Oh my gosh, that tastes so good. Mm, if you want more recipes, please write in the comments what you'd like me to make for you next. Mm, it's so good.